Hey guys, I've been doing some really fun today. I'm gonna take you along. This is my friend Reese, and he's gonna show me the zoo. Have you been many times? Four times. <gasps> and I hear it's super awesome here, is that true? I've seen every single animal. Whoa! He was telling me all about the snakes. He said you can actually take them home. No, actually. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. <laughs> I never said you could take them home. I'm, I'm telling you that they have a poisonous snake that they want you to take home because it's too venomous. Oh. So we're gonna see all. We're gonna check out all of that and see if the animals here in the zoo are different than the animals in the United States. You're from Canada. Was the zoo different from Canada's zoos? I haven't been into Canada's zoos for such a long time, I don't even know. Oh, okay. All I've right. been to Canada. Well, I was just at the zoo in Nebraska a few months ago, so I'll be able to tell, hopefully. We're gonna take you along and show you. Seth is talking to Noel in Japan. It's very, it's very cool. Oh uh, no, I didn't do the Ferris wheel. But the place where you guys are gonna go today, I have been there. Not the zoo, <laughs> but the, the mountain. Yeah. yeah. Nice. That's very beautiful. Daddy, You're gonna really love it. Dad, do you think one day I can go to well, Japan? Like I think one day you could go to Japan. Because I really like want it. Too? I think one day you could go to Japan too. Oh, oh you fell. <laughs> All right, we're here at the zoo. There's a mountain behind me. Little one, but we're near the big mountains too. You excited, Noel? Yeah. Okay, I'm here with Janice and the kids, and Noel, of course. One thing I will say is, it costs about five dollars, right? It's about five dollars, and Noel was free. Kids are free under junior high, which is so cool. That's a red panda. He's so cute. Noel says we have like six of those in our Lincoln Zoo. I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe. We do, Mom. Really? Wow, all the monkeys everywhere. This is always the best part of a zoo. Monkeys are so entertaining. Always. They never fail to entertain. <laughs> I won't tell you what she's eating right now. <laughs> okay, so for lunch, we, we're gonna eat with the monkeys, because why not? But um, we got some sushi at the grocery store, and they look so good. This is really good sushi. It's not like a US grocery store sushi. Maybe he doesn't want us eating here. <laughs> okay, Janice just told me in one of these plates is the price of one, one apple. <laughs> He's not gonna let me talk. Okay, she's nervous to eat the fish eggs, but I told her it's very, very good. You I'm gonna try it. <laughs> They're good. Okay, she tried some. You liked it okay. Not your favorite, but it's good. Well, we found the elephants. <laughs> He's eating up there. Whoa, I mean, oh, really I've never seen see in the their mouth. mouth. Yeah. There's a baby elephant down there somewhere. Now we can see the baby on this side. So cute. We found Rafiki. He's eating his own fur. <laughs> hey, Rafiki. Oh, 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 wow. He's a little bigger than I thought. <laughs> so, one thing I've noticed in Japan that's so different is that. Um, they winterize their outdoor things. And maybe it's because of the amount of snow they get, but see that bench is wrapped, and we, I don't know if I'm pointing to the right thing, but all these benches are wrapped up, like all the benches outdoors are wrapped. They, they have things around their trees, like teepees they build, maybe so that that very heavy snow, we're guessing, doesn't hurt the tree. So here's an example of the trees. Sometimes it's just the sticks around them, and sometimes it has like, a material over it but you see all these trees have these sort of st structures built around them it's just very interesting you know pastor hans was telling me though that um the japanese take very good care of their yes, things they do. like at, when we were at the expensive mall i was like where do you guys shop though really because these prices are terrible and then he was telling me that about these secondhand shops are so good the stuff is so good there because they take very good care of their things so I think this is an example of that that we're seeing because they take care of their trees. I don't know what, if they do in Vancouver, but we don't do anything for our winter stuff that I can tell. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is an alligator or crocodile, but can you see the skinny mouth? I've never seen that before. There's another view from behind, so that's its mouth up there. 
it's so skinny. Looks like it's a crocodile family from Borneo, Malay, and Sumatra. So we probably don't have anything like that on our side of the world. Another thing that amazes me a lot is um, they've had a lot of snow already, a lot of cold, but the grass is green. And I just don't understand it, green grass. And Janice was telling me a lot of their flowers, they just seem so much hardier, even like flowers that we know, like marigolds, will still be there in the snow. So I don't quite get it, but it's definitely different. <sighs> They're having fun. There's another covered bench. Oh, it's a little snow bear. Snow bear. <laughs> Very quickly, come and see, and then I'm gonna so slap cute. it. So cute! No, don't slap it. it. It's so cute. <laughs> Did you make leave it? it. Reese, leave Did it. Did you make it? You could add something to it, maybe. Did you make it? That'd be fun. If you want to change it? <laughs> Give him a hat. Give him a hat. <laughs> I don't have any hat. No snow hat. There you go. A little unicorn. <laughs> there. And some arms. Alright guys, thanks for putting up with me, but I just have to show you this bathroom because it's just unbelievable to me. This is a public restroom. We got a diaper changing station, a urinal. This is a woman's bathroom, so it's a little one for the child you would bring along. This toilet like was a heated seat. And there's always these. I've seen these all over the place in public restrooms. A child seat. And there's a whole bidet function there. It's just like, okay, that's a public restroom. It's a fancy experience. I don't know. Just I just put my hand under there and it worked. There you go. <laughs> that and there is the Hokkaido bear. It's a huge brown bear. Hokkaido is the state we're in. So it's the loco guy and he's a big, big dude, that brown bear. Of course, this is the most fun part. The, <laughs> the climbing, the jumping. I just love these trees. We haven't seen a lot of nature because of the city we're in. So it's fun to see the green and the trees. I used to be such a city girl and I've really changed. I like miss nature and just being outside all the time on the property. I have changed a lot. Change is possible. <laughs> Apparently giraffes don't mind the cold. You guys are so cute. <laughs> Okay, update. We gotta close that elevator door. Oh, it's forget. We met up with Judah and Katie who were meeting with people this morning, this afternoon. I don't know. Janice just dropped us off here and we're headed up a mountain. We'll see. It's yep. better, it better be awesome, Judah. We're going on a ropeway. I've never done the ropeway before. Ooh. Last time I came up here, I hiked. Oh. We're taking, we're hiking? not, we're not hiking. Yep. <laughs> Whoa, Actually, the sun goes down at like 4.30, so we don't have time to hike. Ooh, it's already a gorgeous view. Look at the sun. It actually is such a good view. Oh, do you see the Ferris wheel? Yeah, the Ferris wheel. That's a cute look. <laughs> it's pretty fun experiencing this actually at Christmas time. Look, there's the tree over here. The Japanese do like Christmas. It, they celebrate it very differently than Americans. Very differently. But um, there are decorations and Christmas music playing around, so that's fun. Okay, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. So that first ride was only halfway, I guess. Now we're in another car going up higher. That was already very high. Wow, we made it to the top. It is gorgeous. There's a Christmas tree. <laughs> Whoa. The ocean is there. That's ocean. Wow. I have two more. I didn't realize there was a huge river in the city till just now. Oh, you did? <laughs> like till we were coming up. Yeah. 
There's actually really good views alongside the river over on that side. So Judah and the team, they hiked all the way up here. It was hours when they first arrived. Solo went up here when he was here. But it's so much better in person. <laughs> Honestly, I saw his pictures and video. And this does not compare. It did not compare to seeing it in person. Wow. Amazing. I actually feel really dizzy, which is probably a combination of altitude and uh, jet lag. <laughs> this was a telescope, but they wrapped it up. Uh, it's probably like getting close to four, which is the time I get. Uh, and maybe 3.30, which is when I start feeling that jet lag again. <laughs> she rang the bell. have like a, a shrine that looks like it up here at the top. 531 meters, what would that be? <laughs> Lots of feet. <laughs> Lots of feet. Lots of feet. <laughs> Can you imagine they hiked all the way up here, Noel? I wish I it was summer, imagine. I would have done it. I would have loved it. I love a good hike. Moiwa? It's kind of like our last name. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Katie and Noel are trying to ski down the, in their tennis shoes. <laughs> And Judah's worried someone's gonna break a leg. <laughs> you don't want to deal with us with broken legs? <laughs> no, you guys all have the insurance thing figured out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got super cold and came inside. I feel like I've been cold all day, and it's real cold up here. Had to thaw out a little bit, but we're waiting for it to get dark because we've heard the view is so incredible at night, and Judah's not seen it at night either, so we're gonna wait and look at the lights. You can see that green spot there is the, the Ferris wheel, and that's the tower we were at. So we're on the long track, yes. truck down, but Judah and Katie are going to Korean barbecue tonight. They're going on a date at a <laughs> restaurant that one of Judah's friends worked at. Right? Yeah. Yes. And so Noelle and I, I'm very proud of myself, Noelle. We figured out the subway system, <laughs> I think. <laughs> No, he's really gonna drop us off at the right spot though because Noelle and I are taking subways home and then we're walking home by ourselves because I know, I know, I know how to get. Way. I know the Even way she so knows the well. Way. Yes. Only we're like old so pros well. here. <laughs> we'll see. So first we're walking. <laughs> All cars go on the We came down the tram thing or whatever. The gondola. Came gondola. down the gondola. And we're walking. The now, road. then we're gonna get a streetcar. You're a trooper, Noelle. What's the key to travel? What did I tell you? Be flexible. Be flexible. <laughs> she's hungry. <laughs> but she's being very flexible. I like how Japan has like lights for people to walk. Yeah, well we have that at home. Or it just we looks do? different. Yeah, they just look a little different. Noelle has had a granola bar by the way, and we have more in the bag, but she needs dinner. She wants dinner. They not. don't fill you up. Yes, that's you true. Just for the taste. Oh, okay. <laughs> got a street chain. <laughs> okay, now we're in the streetcar. Uh, is this your first time in a streetcar? Yes. <laughs> oh, it's so fun being down here. This place feels very fantastic. Yeah, it does. I remember this place from two weeks ago. You do? All right, we did the subway. We're walking the long hallway. I think Nathan called it the hallway of doom, followed by a lot of stairs called the stairs of death, I believe they call it. <laughs> and then we're pretty sure we can get home. I did have Judah let Janice know that I'm on my way, because I don't have a phone. If I don't arrive soon, maybe she can send out a search party. Here they are, and it's not all of them. <laughs> Every time I'm in a city that uses mostly public transportation, I'm reminded of how lazy we are in America, especially middle America, where everything's far away from each other, and there's terrible transportation. 
for public transportation options. <laughs> and it's not good for us. We need to move more. <laughs> I love that part of public transportation. Is he in good shape? You're such a trooper, Noel. It's only about three or four blocks. I think we're on the right path. We did it, Noel. High five. We're good. Is it fun exploring a new city? Do you like it? Yeah. Today was a lot of exploring. She's tired. I'm tired. We're glad to be back at our landing spot. Put our feet up. I'm, real, I'm ready to put my feet up. This is what we missed. Your chair? Yes. Oh. That was the one who pressured you to do it. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> The Nebraskans. This is the next day, by the way. But someone figured out it's only the Nebraskans left in the house, Woo! so we can talk bad about Iowa all we yes! want. Iowa has bad corn. Iowa's corn sucks. <laughs> we export more beef. Woo! <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? I'm out of practice. We all these solo songs. I love this one. Hokkaido. The state we're in, and Sapporo, especially, huh? I said it wrong, huh? It's not a state. Oh, I was told yesterday it's a state. Call, well, they were just saying that to you. you. Call it a prefecture. You look at comments about that. Prefecture. The prefecture we're in. People travel from around the world, especially Japanese travel here for their ramen, but um, they're known for their food. So in their snow, in their mountain that we saw. Uh, so I'm excited to try the ramen. Okay, we got our ramen. This is so exciting. This is miso ramen. This is what? Tamar... Tama, uh, tama miso. I've never heard of it. Tama miso. Miso. Looks good. And this one is... This is kind of spicy. So this is supposed to be one of the best restaurants in Japan. In, yeah. <laughs> in, the, in the city. Some people will say it's their favorite in all of Sephora. So oh, nice. I've never had it before. Okay. The ramen was incredible. But we're at a convenience store just looking around, kind of figuring out what we could bring the kids home. Um, but Judah pointed out the snack. It's a hot dog bun, looks like, with spaghetti inside. <laughs> and it's not in a cold area. <laughs> like, just teriyaki burger. On the shelf. Not the cold shelf. This kind of looks like a hot dog bun with with cream inside. Yeah, it does. <laughs> anyway, we gotta try out some snacks, but I don't want those questionable ones. <laughs> Something sweet that we can try. Noelle's trying a soda that Judah told her. Show us. It looks like milk. It does look like milk. <laughs> We're back home. Uh, Judah got a ginger soda to try. Because Solo loves ginger beer, him and Judah. So if it's good, we'll take some of those back. Show us. Yeah, we'll see. And then Noel picked out a a treat. Well, it doesn't look like you can go wrong with that. We're so full though. One lady from our church is an excellent baker. Baked the team a bunch of Christmas cookies like the day before I left. They're so cute. And they shipped in my suitcase very well. There's um, sugar cookies at the bottom too. They were wanting to save them to Christmas. But they might get stale. That's a couple weeks. Yeah, it might get stale. So they're going to have to eat them here. The team was super excited to see homemade Christmas cookies because they don't have an oven here. So that's a big treat. 
And that's the tallest big Christmas tree, not counting yeah, the stars. It's so cute. It's decorated so well. So I am gonna get back to work tonight. I'm babysitting the kids. So the team leaders, Pastor Hans and Janice, can go out. I keep insisting every day, you guys need to go out. So they're gonna go out tonight, maybe another night too, which would be great. And the kids and I will have fun tonight. I love having an opportunity to bless somebody else in that way, because I know when someone blesses me like that, it's so great, especially when you have all little kids and no big kids to help. So that'll be really fun. Noelle and I are looking forward to it. And then tomorrow after our church service, we are going with the whole team, I think the whole team, out to Singaporean food, which the food here is just so much cheaper, the restaurant food, than what we're used to. So there's a, just a few restaurants that Judah wanted me to try. Definitely sushi, which we did. Definitely ramen, which we did. Soup curry, or is it called curry soup? I think it's called soup curry. And I haven't done that yet. And then a Singaporean restaurant. I did have curry though. Um, but yeah, a Singaporean restaurant, they say is so good. And there's a Singapore dish. I haven't been to Singapore myself, but my parents have been many times and they always bring us home a packet of seasoning, like a paste called Luxa. And I've cooked it many times with that paste and my whole family loves it. We love it. And so apparently they have a very, very good Luxa at this restaurant. So I'm very excited about that. We're gonna do that tomorrow. Pastor Hans and Janice are from Singapore originally. They're, they've been living in Canada for a long time, but they know good Singaporean food. <laughs> so that will be really fun. And yeah, that's it. I'll catch up with you soon, maybe in a couple days, and show you what else we're doing. Thanks for watching. <laughs> bye. I'm gonna say bye, Noel. Are you guys done already? <laughs> we started yesterday. Oh, uh, no wonder. <laughs> bye. <laughs> oh, thank you, Miss Judy. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're gonna eat the head. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Just go straight so for the head. <laughs> so good.